we've already discussed the ideas underpinning a genome-wide association study, or GWAS. Using high-throughput screens for polymorphisms, such as SNP chips or high-throughput sequencing, we can ask if particular polymorphisms are associated with particular traits. We can ask this question of binary traits, right? Whether a person developed heart disease or not. But we can also ask this question of quantitative traits as well. Loci that affect these quantitative traits, we call quantitative trait loci. For example, we might be interested in the genetic basis of height in humans. We know that height is highly heritable, a broad sense heritability estimated to be about 85. And so we take a bunch of people, genotype all of their SNPs, measure their height, and we ask which polymorphisms have particular alleles that are associated with height. Why might you want to do such a study? Well, if we go back to our agricultural example, these quantitative trait loci, or QTLs, can inform experimental breeding programs to improve traits of interest. We can genotype individuals at these QTLs and breed them together to have genotypes uh, so that their progeny have genotypes that promote the trait that we're interested in. Because these breeding programs are much more rational, they often take much less time than the individual selection strategy that we talked about before, which more than makes up for the additional expense of all of this genotyping. And second, QTLs can be an excellent way to generate a list of candidate genes for further study. And so if we, I don't know, identify a QTL, that affects susceptibility for heart disease. And we find three protein coding genes in this region. It's likely that one of these three genes plays a role in the molecular processes behind heart disease. Then we can apply other molecular methods, creating strains of mice that have these genes knocked out or overexpressed, for example, that can help us discover those molecular underpinnings and that can often lead to better treatments for these diseases.